equation 5, the compound x will form y in one step reaction. From here, we know that the ketone is reduced to the alcohol. And this carboxylic acid also reduced to alcohol. Okay, this reduction is involved addition of two hydrogen. Oxygens get one hydrogen and this carbon will get another hydrogen then it will form this secondary alcohol and for the carboxylic acid first if you remove the oxygen so one of the oxygens will be removed and after that it will add one hydrogen here and another hydrogen is here to form this primary alcohol okay for part a we know that the empirical formula must deduce from the molecular formula so compound y if you try to draw it out actually no need if you are really good in the structure you no need to do this part okay i just try to draw it and show you how many oxygen carbon and hydrogens present in this y so we know that it has six carbon one two three four five six hydrogen okay three plus 1, plus 1, plus 2, plus 2, plus 2, plus 2, plus 1. So total 14 hydrogen. And oxygen is just 2. 1, 2. So the molecular formula is C6H14O2. Okay, divided by 2, you get the empirical formula, which is C3H7O. The formation of Y from the X required addition of suitable reducing agent. Construct an equation using molecular formula, this one. Oh, sorry. Molecular formula, okay, and the H plus. The molecular formula of this X is C6 H10O3. So we get from here. So the X is CH3CO, CH2, 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 COOH. Okay, so molecular formula is C6 H10O3. Okay, so we start from X. So this one is the molecular formula of X. C6H10O3 because it's a reduction so we just need to use the H with the square bracket this one means reducing agent so it's add hydrogen to the compound okay so from here we know that the molecular formula for the products is C6H14O2 so it's quite clear that okay you need to add total four hydrogen okay because this one from 10 to 14 okay it shows that four hydrogens being added and you have to understand the reducing agent will remove one oxygen from the compound x as i told you just now this oxygen so the reducing agent 
which is the hydrogen will try to react with the oxygens and form H2O. So the reducing agent will form H2O with the oxygens that remove here. So total how many hydrogens needed? So it needs one, two, okay, three, four, five, six, total six hydrogen. Four hydrogens to form the Y here, and two hydrogens to form the H2O. So total it needs six hydrogen. Okay, this is the equations that you must able to produce. Identify the suitable reducing agent. This one, you cannot use sodium borohydride. You cannot use the other reducing agent. You must use lithium aluminum hydride. This one. Because only this one can reduce carboxylic acid. This part, this carboxylic acid, when it's reduced to this alcohol, you must use the lithium aluminum hydride. Okay, this is the only answer. And of course, lithium aluminum hydride also can reduce this ketone to the secondary alcohol. Okay, complete table 5.1 shows the numbers of sp2 and sp3 hybridized carbon in the molecule of X. Okay, molecule of X is this one. So, any CC double bond and CO double bond, the carbon in this functional group, they all must have sp2 hybridization. The carbon with four sigma bond, for example, like this carbon, so we know that there are two hydrogens bonded to this carbon as well. So this carbon is has four sigma bond. So it's going to be a, an a sp3 hybridized carbon. So just remember, when there is a CC double bond and CO double bond, those carbon in the functional group must be sp2. So the ordinary uh, carbon, so it's always the sp3. Like I told you just now, this one. Okay. So from here, it's quite clear that for the compound X, this one. So it has this CH3. Okay, this is sp3. CH2, sp3. CH2, sp3. This one also, CH2, sp3. Okay, so it has 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 sp3 carbon. And it has 2 carbonyl group. So this carbon, they are sp2, sp2. So it has two sp2 carbon. Okay, now this one is the uh, observation uh, for the X and Y when we add the three reagents. Okay, first, aqueous sodium carbonate. We know that X is, has carboxylic acid group, like I told you just now, this one. X. So therefore, when the sodium carbonate added to X, you see effervescence. You form CO two, but you you don't put CO two. You just need to uh, give what you will see, just effervescence. For why? Because it's just alcohol, so no reactions or no change uh, when this sodium carbonate added to Y. Okay, when add 2, 4 DNPH, so we know that in there it has ketone. That's why it can form orange precipitate. So the X can form orange precipitate. Why it cannot form? Because why both they are alcohol. And alkaline aqueous iodine, uh, both will form yellow precipitate. Why? Okay, because X. It has this methyl ketone. X it has this methyl ketone. 
and the y here uh, this one you need to know is quite uh, special sometimes you have to understand okay this is the one that form yellow precipitate because this is the CH okay, CH3OH whenever the alcohol is has CH okay OH CH3 means this one so it will form yellow precipitate as well again huh? so whenever the alcohol is has C H O H C H 3 so it will form the methyl ketone because the iodine with the NaOH is the mild oxidizing agent it will remove these two hydrogen and this will form methyl ketone right okay that's why both will form yellow precipitate right okay this one again methyl ketone and this one is the one that form methyl ketone okay that's all thank you